Hey there friends, Mrs. Gleason here. Welcome to the Float Your Boat STEM Challenge Beat the Teacher Edition. You are going to try to build a tinfoil boat that will hold more pennies than I do. So, before we get started, I want to say that this is themed around optimism. So before the STEM challenge, you will have hopefully read aloud with Sink or Swim, the story Sink or Swim, or the story Rosie Revere Engineer. Both stories are about characters being optimistic, and that is our theme for the week, optimism and trying things until you get the results you want. In today's STEM challenge, we're going to practice optimism by trying to build a tinfoil boat that will hold more pennies than Mrs. Gleason. That's me. What you will need is a bucket of water, a tub of water. You could do this if you're at home in your kitchen sink or your bathtub. Make sure that you let your parents know that you are doing this before you begin. And you might need some help if you are a little younger. So you got your water. You're going to need a bunch of pennies. I got all kinds of pennies. And you're going to need some tin foil. You will also need a ruler. Now if you don't have a ruler, the length of your tin foil is going to be 10 inches and your iPad is 10 inches and that's why I chose 10 inches so if you don't have a ruler at home go ahead and use your iPad to measure your tin foil so I'm going to grab my tin foil and I'm going to measure it out the 10 inches that's 10 inches or I could put it up against my iPad too. Check it out. And then I'm gonna, you might need a parent to help you with this. Here in the lower grades. And you're gonna take a nice clean swipe so that you have a nice rectangle of tin foil. So tin foil can float, right? If I put it on the water, there it is, floating. However, if you take all the air out of tin foil, I'm going to scrunch it right up, take the air out of it. Do you think this is going to float? Ooh, it did. But can you put, fit many pennies on this piece of tin foil? No. So when you design your boat, you're going to want to think about that. How do you design your boat to hold pennies? Here's the pennies. Will the pennies float? Let's see. Nope. Pennies sink right to the bottom. So you'll take your 10 inch piece of tin foil and try to design, create a boat that's going to hold a lot of pennies, but also will sink. So I'm going to make one here. And we're going to count the pennies as I put them in. Now, if you don't have pennies at home, you can still do this experiment. However, you won't be able to try to beat me because unless you can find something that weighs the exact same as a penny, then you could still try to beat the teacher. But this is still fun to do even if you don't have pennies. All right, so here's my boat. And now we're going to start adding pennies. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 
Uh oh, it's taking on water. And it sunk at 35. All right. So my other STEM extending extra challenges are something that you could do. So you could try this again. You could try to adjust your boat a little bit, or you could try placing your pennies in different places. You want to make sure that you get all the water out of it because the water does weigh it down and make it sink. So you could put it back in. You could redesign your boat. And then maybe try placing your pennies in different places and see if you get different results. And then you could graph those results and then decide what was the best uh, way to place your pennies. That would be a great challenge for you to try to figure that out. You could also build a raft from other materials and see if different materials work different and, and make a graph for that. Have fun with this, boys and girls. This is a great challenge. Be optimistic. Keep trying. And enjoy the rest of your day.